Hey, this is Andy from Synerds, and today we're doing some rust effects. So for this first one, we're just doing a really quick way to add some rust to your miniatures. I'm basing it with lead belcher, but you can use any dark metallic. Kind of just slopping it on there, because we're making rust and that's a textured surface anyway, so the more texture we can create, the more we can sell that effect. Next I'm going in with a sponge and just stippling some Mornfang Brown all over it, trying to get some variance. This is going to add the, the main rust tone to the metal. So for the wash we're using Reichlin Flesh Shade, looking for those browny reddish tones. It's going to tint the blade and tie those two colors in together to give it more of a rusty look, a rusty tone to it. And then the final step for this one, it's really quick, it's an edge highlight with Iron Breaker. I'm just going around the edge of the blade and then I go back in and kind of ding up the sides. Um, when I'm painting this kind of stuff, I'm usually doing Nurgle or Night Hunt, so I want it to look like it's been banged across, you know, shields or armor or hit other weapons. And that's the first one done. Um, it's really quick. I actually didn't have a lot of footage for this step because it was so quick. But as you can see, it's still really effective. All right, on to effect number two. Um, this one's a little different because we're basing in Mechanicus Standard Gray instead of a metallic color. But you'll see towards the end that this really adds to that effect. So next we're coming in with another sponge stipple of just Mornfang Brown, doing the same kind of thing we did on the last one. This one I'm going a little bit more heavy on it though. Then here I'm just coming in with a brush and putting some Mornfang Brown into the crevice right there. Kind of stippling some more on to give it a more weathered look. So this is orange and Mornfang Brown. I didn't put the specific orange I used because it doesn't really matter, but this was a Scale 75 Tamiat Orange. I probably butchered that name. I'm kind of sponging it on and then I'm taking the side of the sponge and moving it around, kind of blurring it in. Then here I wanted to add a little bit more, so I just went back in with another coat. Now I'm taking just a basic dry brush of lead belcher, going down the sides of the blades. And here we're doing uh, Agrax Earthshade Wash this time. Again, this is just going to tie all those colors in together and give the overall blade a specific tone. Then the last step again, is so doing an edge highlight with Iron Breaker. The same thing as last time. Just trying to add some contrast to those dark browns that we created when we made the rust.
and that's the second one done this is definitely one of my go-to's I love putting it on like night hot weapons or even the chains so this next one I use a lot on like vehicles or armor terrain stuff that I want to have a rusty look but not be completely covered in rust here I'm just base coating it in Vallejo Metal Air Vallejo Metal Air Vallejo Model Air gunmetal just trying to switch it up to show you that you can use different metallics it doesn't always have to be like GW's lead belcher or stuff like that So for this next step, we're actually doing a glaze of rhinoxide. I mean, I don't know if it's technically a glaze, I'm kind of stippling it, um, but we're laying the foundation for our rust. If you don't know what a glaze is, it's, this is basically extremely watered down rhinoxide and it's nothing special. Now I'm going in with Mornfang Brown. I'm doing the same exact thing I did with the Rhinoxide, but this time I'm trying to leave some of that Rhinoxide showing around the edge. Just layering this glaze over that one. In some spots, I'm actually putting some Mornfang Brown where there wasn't any Ron Oxide just to add some more to the surface. Now here, I'm just going in with straight Mornfang Brown, um, going over the glaze that I did, but just like the Ron Oxide, I'm moving it in a little bit and that's giving that gradient layer effect to the rust. using more vein brown mixed with that same orange kind of 50 50 I wanted it a little bit brighter and again I'm just layering it going in a little bit more to show some of just the more vein brown And the final step for the rust here is a stipple of straight orange paint. Just trying to keep it very minimal and in the center of all those, the gradient of colors. Essentially, this is showing old rust all the way to new rust. Here we're doing a wash of the entire blade with Vallejo's Rust Wash. This is definitely going to add more of a, uh, a reddish orange tint to the entire blade and just tie everything in together. And then the final step on this one, we're just going back to our VMA gunmetal and just doing the same edge highlight with a stipple on the side.
And that's it for this one. Like I said, I love doing this on like armor panels or big metal surfaces to show how water might pool and create rust in different areas. So the last effect is an extremely corroded old rusty blade. It kind of reminds me of the second one, but this time we're going to base coat in a really dark metallic. This is Metal Color Steel by Vallejo, and I actually did do two coats of this. So the next step, this is a stipple of typhus corrosion. This is going to act kind of like our Rhinox Hide acted in the last one. It's going to be the base for our rust and the corrosion texture. So first color is actually Morphing Brown and Orange. We're just sponging that on. We're going to skip the regular Morphing Brown step. I might have overdid it here a little bit, but whatever. So here, just going in with straight orange again, doing a small stipple, just trying to bring out some more highlights. And this is all where the brand new rust would be. Going back in with Vallejo's rust wash again. Just doing the entire blade. So our final step on this one, we're taking VMA steel, which is an extremely bright color compared to Vallejo metal color steel. I'm using this to contrast with all the dark tones again. I just wanted it to stand out a little bit more. Just keep in mind, you can use any colors you want, any metal colors, any browns, any oranges, doesn't matter. And that's it for this one. I mean, you can go on and model the surface some more. You can add some more dings and dents or even some more rust if you want. Here's all four blades together. So you can see the different effects that we went through, the different styles or techniques. They're all similar, but they're all different in their own ways. If you guys have any tips or techniques that I didn't mention in this video, definitely post them in the comments. I'd love to check them out. I think it's always a good day when you can learn something new, and I hope this video gave you guys some ideas or techniques that you can use or incorporate into your own painting.
And again, I'm Andy from Sinners. If you're liking what I'm starting to do here, go ahead and give me a subscribe or like the video. Definitely go check me out on Instagram. That's where I post all my finished pictures of things that I've painted. I'm definitely active on there, so go check me out. And I really do appreciate it, guys. Thank you.